Hey guys, I'm your host, Julissa Raquel, checking in for Sheen Magazine. We're here at the 2019 BET Hip Hop Awards, and it's back in the ATL. We're going to be talking to some of your favorite hip hop artists and entertainers. Make sure you keep it locked to SheenMagazine.com. Look, the last time I seen you, okay. you had your album release yes. party yes. at the studio here in the ATL, and yes. you threw money yes. through every I thought, track. I thought about coming in here throwing money, but by the time I got to the carpet, they were like, no, you got too much money to leave it right here. <laughs> You can't go. You can't go nowhere without it. So tonight, you know, we're honoring Little Kim. How I do you heard. feel that she really embodies hip hop? I feel like it. I feel like she legend. Like, I, like I was just saying. Like, I don't feel like no one like that came in the game as far as females came in. Like how and Little Kim came in. And if they have, they kind of got it from her. So she, she, you know, she the wave god. At the BET Hip Hop Awards yeah, yeah, yeah. with VH1's Mickey Monday. How you doing? You dig? I'm blessed, man. God is good. I used to have to sneak into these things, and now I'm on the red carpet. Look at God. Look at God. You so, you know, I've been watching your story unfold on the show on VH1, and I really love it. I love you as a character, and I feel like you're giving us the real, the raw, and it's, you're staying true to yourself. Yeah, you know, yeah. how does it feel to have this type of platform and now being able to get millions of people to tune into your music? Oh, yeah, it's a blessing. I mean, at the end of the day, as an artist, all you look for is opportunities to get yourself out there, and, you know, some people take the cheap road and some people take the high road and but at the end of the day you got to get to your destination and I felt like I just took the road less traveled by and I always really stayed true to myself and um, I never really conformed to anything and uh, you know it's still a work in progress but but progress it is you know looking forward to following your journey so congratulations on your new project so, so tell me what we can expect um you can expect some deep songs songs that might make you want to cry Why? What, what are you really pouring out on, over these tracks um, no, nah, I would just, I would just giving, uh, giving my story, sharing my story with y'all, man. That's why it's named Behind These Scars, because, you know, you see the scars, but you don't know what's behind it. And I just kind of, like, shared some of my, uh, daily problems, my life problems, or my life learn lesson. Yes. So tell me, what do you really feel Little Kim embodies as far as hip-hop? Um, her... Um, everything, you know, everything um, she support other women. She is super nice, humble, and um, I just feel like she's the perfect leader and a perfect example. And, you know, it don't matter where you are in your career, she's very supportive. She always give me advice. She collabed with me on my second project, my mixtape. She didn't have to do that, you know, so um, that just, like, even this achievement for her is just, you know, it's just well deserved, and I just can't wait to see how she's gonna slay. Hey guys, checking in at the BET Hip Hop Awards with the Jazz Anderson, and we're here. I want to talk about you. I know you're going to be debuting on the Cipher tonight. Yes. So how exciting is that? What was that experience oh, like? Man, it was it was so exciting. I was a bit nervous as well because that's all I really. I watch the Hip Hop Awards every year to see who's in the Cipher. Yes. So for me to watch this year and me to be in it, that's like surreal to me. Yeah. Um, I was nervous when I first got the call, but you know I had to prove myself. So. Now I'm here and I'm hoping it goes good. And tonight, you know, we're recognizing Little Kim. You know, what does she really mean to hip hop? You see, the girls been running the, the year like this. The girls made a super year this year, right? Yes, yes. She got a lot to do with that. Yes, you know what yes, I mean? Yes. So I feel like it's on the right. BET did. They, that was a that was that's solid right there. Yes. And tell me, what new projects are you currently working on? Everything, me, all of my artists. Like everything, we're just working. What are you um, hoping? Well, when are you hoping to put your next project out? Soon. Soon, <laughs> It's gonna come out soon. Like, I don't wanna say no when, but it's coming soon for sure. So, tell me about this new record deal. How does it feel? Low key, been going crazy. I got a record. I use the SWV sample, and it's been going crazy. So, I'm loving it. What's the name of the record? Low key. Low key. Okay, and so after you. Are you going to follow up with the tour project? What's coming next? I actually just got off tour with Wiz Khalifa and DJ Drama, Money Bad Yo, Chevy oh. Wood. Shout out to the homies. But I got a tape off in the drop October 11 called The Roots 2. Oh, so, okay. you know what I'm saying? And tonight, you know, we're celebrating Little Kim. Mm. You know, what does she really mean to hip hop? To the fe all the females that's in the game now. All the females that's in the game now. All the spotty talk, all the... The, the hot hoorah the gangster shit for the female she, she gave, she paid that. She yeah, paid that, definitely. hands down. Okay, we're checking in with the official host for the BET 2019 Hip Hop Awards. Uh -huh. And I want to know, what are you going to bring to the stage? Because we already know know you for your jokes, your laugh, your energy. 
but what are you really going to bring the hype up the show tonight? I, I thought you might know me for my music, too. You know me for Your everything. Oh, yeah. Living movies, your best life. My honey. TV shows and all that. So you can find me just being Duval. If you know Duval, ain't no telling what I might do. <laughs> we can't wait to see you on stage tonight. I Guys, checking out Sheen Magazine, Lil Duval. Thank y'all.